Okay, kids, one, two, three, is you a throw in bucket? Yeah! Are you women awake? Yeah! Awake in South Africa? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! You're not sleeping? No. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to address South Africa. You are the speaker, you are the next speaker. I might be one, but you are one. And together, we make up the us in South Africa. Okay, I'm being told what to do, so I'm asking you. I'm just going to pray first because we can't do anything without Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Yes. Right. Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you that you bring peace to our nation. I thank you that you help our police to be righteous once again. I pray for the women of South Africa to rise as, as Esther's and Deborah's in our nation. I pray for those men that are called to be Davids and Daniels, that we will not sit on our butts anymore, but I can't do this, but I can't do that. We can, Lord. Together, we can. It doesn't matter how many movements we have. The more, the better. Father, let us all stand united and do what you called us to do. Give us a strategy to love one another again. I pray for this nation to love you first so we are able to love each other. We are a beautiful nation. We are not a hateful nation. We come against all hate in this country and we say we will conquer because love conquers all. And it's not about the race. It's about the heart. Do you hate me? Do you love me? If you love God, you cannot hate me. You have to love me with the love of Christ. I thank you, Father, for what you do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I don't hear South Africa say amen. 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 On that side, amen. 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 We have a good country, guys. We got to keep it that way. You know, Africa came and tried to change from the north down. Have a look nicely what's taken over the rest of Africa. It's not that we are coming against color here. I will not stand for different colors. I will stand for Jesus Christ and the love of Christ because we are a Christian nation. But look at the North coming down. It's not Christianity, people. Wake up, wake up, wake up. And they want us to fight against each other. We will not fight against each other. The message this morning is for the men of South Africa. What has happened to the men of South Africa. Word, word. No, no, you're fighting me. You're angry. You're saying, what kind of a woman is it? She's a feminist. No. I love the men of South Africa because they are our pillars. They are our anchor. But the women are waiting for you to stand up and have love and fight God's way. Men of South Africa, our children are getting raped. Our children are getting murdered. The women are getting killed. Should we call it murder rather? Because it's planned strategies. It's very radical. It is terrible. It's not just the women, it's not just the men, it's the farmers that are feeding us. Ladies, for one moment, I'm asking you, my name is Esther. And my surname is Bardenos. You can go look on YouTube. Esther Bardenos, hope. I stand for hope for the nation. It's time for you and I to stand up. Because if we want to have faith that something's going to change, it starts with hope first. If you've lost hope, you've lost the nation. I want to ask the men once again. Women are standing up like Deborah did. She was a judge and a prophetess. What took place? Barack didn't want to go to war. Are we in a war? Yes, we're in. We're in a slow war. If you're a politician, you'll know what I'm speaking about. They take you up one by one until there's nothing left. And it's not just about the white man and the white woman. Please get the story right. It's anybody. Anybody that is coming against their way of belief. Socialism, communism, Marxism wants to take over South Africa. Christianity must rise. 
And if you believe in the Bible, you have to stand with me and everybody else that says, if it's this movement or that movement, and they've got biblical principles and values, go with them. Go with them. It's our time. Thank you for the few minutes that I was given. And I want to do something before I close off. Can you all set your phone alarms for me, please? Can you all set your phone alarms? First time you'll have somebody speaking and telling you, take out your phone and set your phone alarm. Have you got your phones on you? Set your phone alarm, please. For one minute. Just one minute. Just one minute. You know, in the Bible, whenever there was a call to assembly, a shofar was blast. We're going to let the alarms go off. Don't put them off. When they start to ring, let them ring so that you will remember this message. If that's all you remember, it's time to stand up. Get a hold of James if you don't know how to stand up. Get a hold of whoever. Whatever, I think the Move One Million is here as well. Stand together. Women's movement, stand together. We are all one for South Africa. And let's stop fighting against each other. Okay, have you all set your alarms? Have you got it? And before I blow the ram's horn, I'm going to wait for your alarm, so you better set it for one minute to go. I'm going to blow the trumpet, and the meaning of this is, if you've ever been to Israel, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sound my alarm, and that is with my voice, blowing the breath of God into South Africa. It's not my breath. I'm doing it with His breath, because I need His strength, and so do you, to do what God wants you to do. Have you all got your alarms? How long has it still got to go? Yo, you have no ears on this stuff. Okay, I brought an an English. When baie van ons oorsee mens is nie Afrikaans nie. Sorry, ek is baie lief vir die boerkies. En as jy wil hier met iemand by julle kom praat, trouwens, ek het julle nodig. Mans, you're not excluded. I want to make you jealous. Watch the space. Okay. Oh, uh, James says only women get jealous. Do you who agrees with him? <laughs> okay. There's an alarm going off. I need another one. Don't stop them. Don't stop them. This is an alarm to say, wake up. Do you hear me? It's time to wake up in South Africa. Uh, thank you, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me? Mm. 